<clears throat> James F. Pandirus Box mentioned in one of his videos that Cyrus the Great thought that the God of Israel, <clears throat> Yahweh, was a hero Mazda. Yeah, I think that too. Um, I actually think it's the same God. I think the God of the Zoroastrians is my God in a very primitive way. Uh, and I also think that the lineage of Christianity, we, we have a lineage to Zoroastrianism. We have from Judaism and Zoroastrianism. You can say the idea of the Messiah, the idea of the final day of judgment, uh, uh, a god of good, a god of evil. This comes from Zoroastrianism. You can also make an argument that Gnosis started with Zoroastrianism and the very sects that came off of it, like the Yazidis. Where did the Yazidis come from? Not a form of Islam. Everybody tries to say Yazidis are a form of Islam. They're not. Uh, you call them Gnostic. Uh, not Valentinian Gnostic. I mean, they have their angels, and they believe uh, Malik Tuss, I think his name is, the chief angel. Is the creator the the God that they venerate, and they believe that they are the children of Adam, and that everybody else is the children of Adam and Eve. Was, this is competition where they made clay jars, uh, made these creatures in jars, and out of uh, Eve's jar came insects, and out of uh, Adam's jar came. The uh, I don't know Abel or the the race of the the Yazidis they don't intermarry or anything like that um, so I think from a lot of that we Christianity comes it grew up in that environment uh, and I definitely believe that I don't think the Babylonian the Babylonian religion okay if you talk about polytheism all this kind of stuff. Uh, I think we equate it too much to the religion of Canaan, child sacrifice. I think the great abomination of the Babylonians, which was the same as the Romans, is all gods were equal. All gods were worshipped. Uh, gods weren't really denigrated or destroyed. Notice the synagogue grew up in the Babylonian captivity. They have the synagogue before that. People praying without a temple, basically. Uh... Zor I I most friendly with Zoroastrianism. More uh, I feel more kinship to the Zoroastrian or Zarathustrian or whatever you want to call them than uh I do any other religion. I see like Zarathustra, I think. Fantastic guy. He didn't really even claim to be a prophet. He was standing in a river, he was an Aryan by the way, standing in a river. Uh, worship it, doing his oblations to the gods and realize no there's only one god uh, yes that was he who is the existing one the I am the one who can't be named uh, the one who isn't a god the god beyond the gods that's why I don't even write god because it's not whenever I'm talking about false concept of god or gods I'll write it out but I won't write out my God, because it's not the same. It's not the same. It's beyond. It's not. It, it's not in this universe. His energies penetrate. He came down in the incarnation. That's it. So I really feel. Yeah, I like the Zoroastrians. I wish I knew more about them. Uh, I wish I read the Avesta. Um, but yeah, I'd have to say it was right. Cyrus the Great was awesome. He was a, called Christ, the anointed. He's not the Christ, uh, but it's one of the arguments why we don't call Mary Christotokos. Theotokos is what we call him. James believes in uh, adoptionism. I'm not going to fault him for that. That's his belief. If he were to argue something else, maybe. But if somebody just says, I disagree with you on this, this is my thing. 
okay, I'm not gonna. There's no point to bicker. Bickering is what I cannot stand. Um, and I'm gonna remake my uh, video to T Nightcrawler. It was too long. It was off the cuff. Uh, peace to everybody out there. Peace to you.